The great Pedimon does to him. I'm sorry. It is what it is. I'm joking. I'm joking. Wait, don't click. Don't click off the video. A while back, I said that I'm interested in making a video talking about why I believe they do date back to the fourth dynasty, and uh, pretty much confirmed in my brain. Although you know everything subject to change. So ancient architects, which is a channel that I highly, highly recommend if you are interested in the ancient past, ancient Egypt, because he really deep dives into sites that you didn't hear of. He shows you like really specific details, and he talks about it in context. So I really recommend you checking his channel out and subscribing, because I think you'll find his videos interesting. Anyway, in his new video, he linked to his documentary which was released in 2020 and it is a fantastic watch it really just shows you all the details that that you need to know regarding the site all the contextual details so with all that finally said i want to present to you a section of this video where he really just lays out bare really solid evidence for the great pyramid being related to khufu at least but at most for it being a tool but anyway let me just show you this part of the video really grab a cup of coffee enjoy because you're bound to be hit with uh, some really cool historical facts enjoy the great pyramid was always the biggest mystery for me but with all my research there are certain things that now i just have to accept because it's irrational not to let's start with something controversial and that's the association between the fourth dynasty king khufu and the great pyramid now, nobody can deny that he was strongly associated with this structure. I've said it before and I'll say it again. His mother, brother, vizier, eldest son, more children and all of his officials are buried in high-profile mastabas that pretty much surround the Great Pyramid. Khufu has to be there somewhere. And what else? Giza or the Great Pyramid itself was once known as Aket Khufu. Hieroglyphs stating Khufu's name as well as his image were carved in stone in Old Kingdom style all along the causeway that led to the pyramid. These were discovered in the 20th century and they are well documented. Herodotus also said he built it. The inventory stealer also says that Khufu built the pyramid. Radiocarbon dating places the pyramid in the Old Kingdom. What many call a granite box in the king's chamber is a near identical match to the sarcophagus of Khufu's son Kawab, who died during his reign and was buried next to the Great Pyramid. The granite box is a sarcophagus, and it's also typical of the 4th dynasty as well. Khufu's funerary boat is also buried next to the Great Pyramid, and his son's name is written in the boat pit, that of his successor Jedefere. So as you just heard, Matt from Ancient Architects just fired off quick fire facts about what we have found, what it links to, and the contextual evidence and how all that kind of links to the idea that this is probably a tomb. I'm, I'm sure he's not strongly defending the idea that it's a tomb, but he's just giving you the evidence and this is what it indicates. So you can see why Egyptology believes and it's stapled that, you know, this is a tomb. So now I'm going to show you a little bit of the next part where he pretty much explains away a lot of the things that you've heard online. Let's go. I always believed the popular theory that the Great Pyramid was merely renovated by Khufu, because I didn't want to believe the mundane idea that this could merely be his tomb. Many people believe this renovation hypothesis, but has anybody ever found a shred of evidence that it predates Khufu? Hard physical evidence. For a start, there is nothing geological, and there is also nothing physical that matches any datable early dynastic or pre-dynastic structures and styles. There are also no major pre-dynastic finds inside, or finds, settlements or structures in the immediate vicinity of the Great Pyramid. People will mention the Sphinx and the Sphinx Temple, but there is enough evidence to suggest that the erosion we see means it can still be built comfortably in the early part of dynastic history, which had a wet climate, and as Colin Reader explains, the erosion on the enclosure walls can be explained by surface runoff water. To say Khufu renovated the Great Pyramid is one almighty assumption, and nobody should base such a fundamental idea or belief on such an assumption without evidence. So he just brought up like two or three examples there, but I want you to go watch his whole documentary. Uh, it's just super valuable. So now I'm going to show you the part where he talks about the carbon dating of the Great Pyramid. I know a lot of people are interested in this, the carbon dating of the Great Pyramid, how do they do it? And uh, yeah, we do have carbon dating in the Great Pyramid. Uh, they carbon dated the mortar found the, um, in between the stones. Here's that part of the video. 
The radiocarbon dates obtained from testing samples from within the pyramid, from organic matter that was found in the pyramid's mortar, do vary but only by a few hundred years either side of the 4th dynasty. Certainly not thousands. This though can be easily explained by the error margins. Geologically, the pyramid limestone isn't degraded enough to be much more ancient than the Old Kingdom, and even the oldest radiocarbon dates from the mortar are not as wild as some want it to be. Radiocarbon dating has its problems, we all know that, but at the very least it does give us an indication. I never hear anyone questioning the truly ancient radiocarbon dates retrieved from Gebekli Tepe with the same level of... Okay, so there you have it. I definitely want to make more videos uh, about these ancient history topics, but I've really wanted to make this video because, because it's just such a big talking point. The age of the pyramids, you know, the Great Pyramids specifically. And a lot of people don't see, the, you know, that we have found these specific artifacts, you know, these specific links to, you know, the context that we already know of because it's, you know, flooded out by... I'd way rather have an archaeologist on or an Egyptologist on. I made a prime video about that and I will still make another video about that. I thought about that yesterday actually because Flood Double was not it uh, on JRU. Yeah, you should check out D-Dunkey's channel. His channel also in the description below. Overall good channel. Uh, just presents you with really, really researched information. Uh, so I really suggest you subscribe to his channel uh, as well as ancient architects but yeah anyway i've been wanting to make this video for a while um also like this video subscribe if you found enjoyment out of it uh, i would appreciate it if you made it this far that's absolutely crazy um check out some of my other content if you you know would be interested um definitely trying to make more and also turning on that notification bell is like the best thing you can do to know when i upload because you'll know exactly when i upload like you'll get a notification like like fucking whatsapp bro <laughs> uh, if that's annoying then you don't have to turn on the bell but uh, yeah, <laughs> I really appreciate you for watching. Leave your opinions down below. I didn't like say that, but leave your comments down below. What the fuck do you, what do you think of this? And yeah, thank you so much. Have a good rest of your day.